Hey devs, today I want to talk about live templates and how we can customize those within Android Studio. So first off, what are live templates? Live templates are a bit of code that we can auto-generate by typing in an abbreviation and then hitting tab or enter. Now this is really useful for things that we use all the time like doing an if null check or for printing out something like a log statement or a toast or generating a loop. And so there's a lot of these actions available to us and we'll take a look at those now. To use a live template, we can start typing an abbreviation. This will populate a list of templates available in the current context. In this case, I type log and I see a number of different live template options that we can select. We have ones log D, log E, and etc. for the different log commands. If we then select one, we see that it generates the login code automatically. It also generated a tag for the first parameter of the method, as well as pre-populating the message with the name of the current method. These are both things that can be customized, and we'll take a look at that later. This time we'll use a different logging live template and we'll see that it generates a message that includes the save instance state variable printed out to the console for us. Now we can do a lot more than just simplify our logging commands. There are many live templates available, such as IFN for generating an if null check. In this case, typing IFN and then hitting enter generates the if saved instance state equals null code for us. We can do more complex things as well. Typing starter and hitting enter within an activity will generate a static method to start the current activity. So there's many different types of live templates and they differ depending on our current context. So there are a number of groups of live templates for Android related things, for XML, for HTML, for Kotlin, for miscellaneous text editing. And we'll take a look at those right now. To view the available live templates, navigate to your settings menu, then go to editor, and under that, look at the live template section. Within this menu, we see a number of different sectioned dropdowns. All of these provide different live templates related to different types of functionality. We see multiple ones related to Android or to Kotlin or to things like plain text editing as well. Within the Android section, we have a lot of options available from things like creating a loop, automatically creating intents for us, the starter code that we looked at earlier, or even automatically generating toast actions for us. If we navigate down to the Android log section, we can see the various log templates that we looked at in action earlier. If we then look at the Kotlin section, we'll again see a number of commands. Although in this case, we don't have the Android related ones like we saw up above. So as you can see, there's a lot of these available to us, but there's not always everything we would want. Or maybe we have our own use case that we want to create a live template for. Well, thankfully, we can customize and make our own live templates. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. We're going to generate live templates for logging that are available within Kotlin. Now we'll copy the ones that are already available from the Java side, and then we'll be able to use the same functionality both in our Java and Kotlin files. So if we go to our Kotlin activity here, if we then try and access the same live template that we did from the Java activity, we see this time it just fails to resolve. It doesn't know about that live template. Same thing with Toast. It just doesn't exist within the context of a Kotlin file. So let's take a look at how we can create our own live template. We're gonna recreate the logd live template that's available within the Android log section 
and make it available to us within our Kotlin files. If we look at the definition of log D within Android log, we'll see a number of things to take a look at here. We have an abbreviation, which is the command that we will type to generate the code, a description of what it does, and then finally the template text. You can also choose how to expand and trigger the generation of the code. You can make it adhere to code styles, and you can also edit template variables. We'll take a closer look at those in a minute. Now we're ready to copy this over and make a Kotlin version. If we select the template code, navigate down to the Kotlin section, then we'll go over and hit the little plus icon on the right hand side to create a new template. We're going to copy the abbreviation so it's the same both in Java and Kotlin. We'll write a simple description indicating what it does. And then we're going to copy in our template text. We're going to leave the default expand option as tab and we'll go ahead and select to reformat this template code according to the code style. Next, we want to choose a context with which to make this active. Now, we'll start by just selecting Kotlin in general. And if we expand that, we'll see the different Kotlin specific contexts available to us. Now, we wanted to make this as close to functionally equivalent to the Java version as possible. So let's navigate back up to the Android log version and look at the available context for that version. Under Java, we see the statement context is selected. So we'll go back to our Kotlin version and update our contexts so that only statement is selected. We can use these contexts to make our live templates smarter by making them available when most useful. Now, if we go back to our Kotlin file and type log D, we see that we now have our template available to us in Kotlin. However, it's not quite the same yet. We don't have the method name auto-generated for us. Let's fix that now. If we go back to our live template definition, we see that in the template, we do have a property for method name. But if we open the edit variables dialog, we see that it's not defined. Let's go back up to the Java version and see what expression is used to populate the method name variable. So we'll select the Java version of the log D live template. We'll navigate down to edit variables. And under the expression section, we'll see that method name is set. So if we go back to our new version in Kotlin, we'll again open up the edit variables window. We'll click under the expression drop down menu. And we'll scroll down until we find Kotlin function name. Once we find it, select it and hit OK. We can then hit apply to save these settings to our live template. If we then execute the live template again, we'll now see the name of the Kotlin function is auto generated. And just like that, we now have the log D live template available both in Java and Kotlin. Now let's create another live template in Kotlin. We'll go back to our live templates dialog. We're going to create a new live template. We're going to name it starter and again, mimic the existing starter template from the Java side. We'll skip a description for now and we'll just enter our template text. In this case, we want to generate a companion object with a function on that that we can use to start the activity. So we'll type companion object. We'll add our braces. Then we will define a function named start activity and we'll give it an FD method body and that'll be it for now. We'll then define our scope. We'll define this to be Kotlin class and we'll leave it at that. We can then hit apply to save. And if we now within our Kotlin activity type starter and hit tab, we generate that code for us. Now I want to go back and take a little bit deeper look at how we can edit our variables within the live templates. Remember our log templates 
automatically add a tag variable to the method. However, that's not defined within this given scope. So let's look at how we could replace that and take a deeper look at the variables. If we open up our template once again, we see that within the template text, we define tag. So that gets added as plain text. But we want to replace that with a new variable. You see that our existing variable method name has the name and then an expression. The expression defines what the value will be based on the current context. So let's replace tag with a new variable called class name, which is wrapped within quotes and within dollar signs. If we then open edit variables, we now see the class name variable available. We can then define an expression by hitting the dropdown. Notice we have many options, things like capitalized string, file name, first word. In our case, we're going to choose Kotlin class name and hit OK. This will get the name of the class and substitute that value in as our string. Now when we generate the code, the name of the class is pre-populated. All right, that's it. We took a look at how we can create and edit our own live templates within Android Studio. We can use these to make it easier to generate commonly used bits of code or to make available functionality in Kotlin that isn't already present but already exists on the Java side. Are you using live templates in your day-to-day -day workflows? Leave a comment down below with your favorite live template. I'd love to see what everybody else is using. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.